Hello and welcome to the show at 10. My name is Art Cardos and I'll tell you, I'm excited about programming like the show at 10 where we can feature both faith and business in the same hour. On this program, you will meet local businesses. You will see what they do and why they do it. Hopefully, we'll encourage you to do business with them. And also, you'll meet people of faith, talking about their faith and how they can't separate their faith from their business. It's important to know that faith plays a role in everything. And I think that today, more than ever, we're realizing that without faith, you don't even have hope sometimes because of all the pressures and problems that go on in the world. So stay with us on this program, and we'll be right back after these messages. Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious. Blowers are slow and inefficient. And moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way. The all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the leaf lugger. Don't wait. Get yours today at leaflugger.com. Yes, dear. Yeah, I can check that for you. Just hold on a second. I got my notepad right here in front of me. Yes, he's not in the cage. He's out running around, but the alarm system is set to stay. Let the Home Connect team from Altronic Security put the power of affordable home control in your hand. With our new app for smartphones and tablets, you're in total control of monitoring your home, dimming your lights, adjusting your thermostat, even locking or unlocking your doors, all from wherever you are. Let Altronic Security take care of your home so you can take care of what matters the most. Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious. Blowers are slow and inefficient. And moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way. The all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net, so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. And leaf lugger's sturdy woven mesh won't buckle or blow in the wind. The durable slick center makes moving your leaf lugger over any surface fast and easy. And when you're headed for the curb or the compost pile, leaf lugger closes easily and won't drop leaves or debris along the way. And when the job is done, leaf lugger's mildew resistant materials make it easy to clean and store for years of dependable use. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the Leaf Lugger. On this segment, we're joined by Steve Costello, and we're talking about an exciting product, Steve, called the Leaf Lugger. You know, let's start out, tell us a little bit about the product, because it has so many adv advantages to it when people are cleaning up their yard. Well, this time of year, when everybody has to do their leaves, we've come up with a patented product which cuts your time in half. And what it does is, millions of people use tarps and blankets to collect leaves, get them to the compost heap, get them to the curb, or get them somewhere where you have to bag them. The features of the leaf lugger allow you to use the tarp effectively without any of the drawbacks of a tarp. It has what we call, and other companies that sell our product call, smart tarp technology. And what the invention does is it eliminates the drawbacks of tarps. In other words, when you use a tarp, even though it's effective, every time you move it, you have to smooth it out. The design of Leaf Lugger eliminates that problem by having stiffeners built in. And in fact, that's really where the patent was awarded because of that feature. It also has mesh on the outside, which allows it to not buckle and blow in the wind. It also has a handle built into it so that when you're moving leaves around and you get it filled up that it's easy to move around and so it saves a lot of time you can move it from pile to pile without having to reposition it or smooth it out the other feature that it has is when it's windy the leaf lugger has built-in rope with grommets and you simply pull the rope and it turns into a bag and then you can move all your leaves from your front yard or your backyard to where you want to deposit them without losing half of what you put in. In fact, nothing comes out. What a great explanation. Now let's talk about the fact this was actually featured in a couple of magazines. What are these magazines? Yes, well, Popular Mechanics asked us for one to test it. When they tested it, they liked it. So they ran an article about best leaf cleanup products and they put us right at the top of their article. 
So obviously approved by, by that group. And there's another book there. What's that? Yes, The Week magazine, uh, another national publication, also gave us a write-up for the best leaf cleanup products that were coming out on the market. So this sounds like it's one of those tools everybody needs with their house. It also sounds like it's the kind of thing you do not, uh, you can give for a gift. Absolutely. It's a great gift. So how do people buy it? Uh, how do we get this? You just go to leaflugger.com. We have a totally secure shopping cart that protects all your credit card information or you can pay through PayPal. And in a final word, how do we wrap this up? What do we want to leave people thinking about? you got to have one of these. Great gift, yard tool. I mean, it's something everyone should have. It makes leaf cleanup easier and faster. The other thing is it is extremely durable, high-quality product that will last for years and is easy to clean and store. Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious, blowers are slow and inefficient, and moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way, the all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net, so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the Leaf Lugger. Don't wait. Get yours today at leaflugger.com. Help support the Messick family. Come to the Benefit and Buffet Sunday, November the 3rd. An afternoon of missions and music is being held at the Southmore Golf Course from 3 to 7 at Catano's Restaurant and a special guest appearance by guitarist George Orlando. For more information, call 719-221-5870. Please come and help support the Messick family as they take off for their trip for the Southern Andes Mountains of Ecuador. Hi, we're the Messicks. My name is Matt. My name is Christy. We're World Venture Missionaries. My name is Jonah. I am eight, and we're going to go to Ecuador to help people to become Christians. My name is Micah, and I am six years old. My name is Elijah, and I'm almost five. And almost I can use a knife and we're going to Ecuador and we're all venture. Love this portion of the program where we talk with families of faith and how faith works in their life. And tell us who you are and then we'll talk about what you're doing. My name is Matt Messick. I'm Christy Messick, we're World Venture Missionaries. And thank you for taking time to be with us. What is a World Venture Missionary? What does that mean? Well, World Venture is a mission sending organization that's based in Denver. Um, they send missionaries all over the world. They have about 200, 250 families. 250 families that find ways to get the gospel spread from um, out, outright evangelism to business as missions. And tell us a little about now, you have a family, and uh, how many are in your family? Uh, we've got four little ones, an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and another one on the way. Congratulations. Now, raising a family and being World Venture Missionaries, what does that mean you actually do? Uh, where do you go? What do you do? Sure. Um, at the moment, we are in the process of doing support raising and some training. Um, basically, that means that um, our organization asks us to do certain trainings that help us be successful in the field. Um, and then the support raising piece, um, there isn't a, there isn't a, um, like a, the organization doesn't pay people money. We go around and talk to people, share what we're doing, and we ask them to support what the Lord is doing through us at a, at a portion in a monthly, monthly amount. Where do you go now? Where will you be going? We are, go ahead, honey. We're going to be going to uh, Loja, Ecuador, which is in the Andes Mountains up in the south part of Ecuador. And what will you be doing there? Um, there's a, a church plant that started there about 10 years ago, and it's in the city of Loja, the small city of Loja. Five years ago, they started reaching out to some of the smaller communities. And they have five small church plants that have five to, five to 15 in these small church plants, and we're going to go help support those folks, as well as um, try, to share, try to share Christ with people and, and lead people to Jesus. Now, you know, in, in your world, how important is faith? Obviously, you've made it a centerpiece. So how can, when you hear people uh, and aren't, aren't sure about their faith, uh, I mean, in your world, how can you ever separate faith from every other part of your life? We haven't been able to. God has directed every one of our steps for the past 
two, three, four, five years, and, and more and more as we give that trust to him. And so everything we do each day is, Lord, is this what you're asking us to do? And trying to follow the lead that he's showing and, and trying to raise our children to understand who Christ is and that they want their lives to be given to him. I know, Matt, you do a lot of carpentry work too as well, and you assist with those types of things wherever you go. Yeah, we do. Um, one of the things that, that is really interesting, most of the places that we've been, we have been and will go are in the developing world and um, there's tons of opportunities for to work with your hands and so for for us especially for me god has given me given me that background and those talents and i've been able to use that to help build maybe churches or people's houses um, upgrade some um, um, sewer systems in people's places and the lord just use that as an opening um, to, to then share his share who Jesus is and, uh, and hopefully in the end bring people to Christ. How difficult is it with a family, you know, going to Ecuador and everywhere else? And we want to encourage people watching to support you. There's information on the screen. They can get involved and they can support you. And how difficult is it? You're picking up your whole family. I mean, obviously, this is important to you. This is what God's called us to do, and he has given us children that have been so unbelievably adaptable. Sometimes they've opened up more doors than we could ever open up ourselves because they just go into a community with their hearts and their smiles and their enthusiasm and families have welcomed us just so with so warmly bringing in these little guys saying exactly that how can you bring your children here and to hear that we've brought them because God has called us to do that people are amazed. Well, I believe we're in a very important time in history right now the Lord's doing things that have never happened before and you guys are at a point in time where he's using you in ways you probably you never thought he would use you in and in a final word as we wrap up our segment here what would you say to people that first of all the believers who might be supporting you are able to support you but also those who say I don't know if there's a God I mean why would people do what they're doing you know uh, any final comments or thoughts for anybody watching this program you know I think for me I would say that the Lord is asking our family to go to Ecuador, but you don't need to go far away to share Christ. Um, boy, you just go outside your door, and there's tons of people that need to hear who Jesus who Jesus is and, and how he has changed your life. And I'd encourage people to do that, whether they're at their work, at school, wherever, just to remember that that Christ is, is empowering you to, to go and share who he is. Um, for people that, that don't know um, or question that, Here's, here's the thing that I can say. If it wasn't for our faith, for Christian and I's faith in who Jesus is, there's no way we would take our family, pack them up, cart them all over the place trying to do this. It just doesn't make sense. And so for us, that is the proof of, of who, how he has really prompted our hearts. Um, yeah, he's, he's just leading our lives. We wouldn't do it if it wasn't for him. Help support the Messick family. Come to the Benefit and Buffet Sunday, November the 3rd, an afternoon of missions and music. It's being held at the Southmore Golf Course from 3 to 7 at Catano's Restaurant and a special guest appearance by guitarist George Orlando. For more information, call 719-221-5870. Please come and help support the Messick family as they take off for their trip for the Southern Andy Mountains of Ecuador. Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious, blowers are slow and inefficient, and moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way, the all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net, so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the leaf lugger. Don't wait. Get yours today at leaflugger.com. On this segment, we are here at Scrubby's, and Scrubby's is a unique place, and Lynn's going to tell us about it, and tell us a bit about who you are, Lynn, and where we are, and what we're doing here. We are Scrubby's Medical Uniforms, located on the northeast corner of Route 22 and 191 in Bethlehem, PA. So Lynn, tell us exactly what do you specialize in? 
medical uniforms for the medical professionals. And when someone walks in the door, there's a lot of selection. Maybe you could take us on a tour of what's in here. We have something for everyone. Uh, we have popular brand names, branded items, such as Dansko, Peaches, and Jockey. Very popular. We also have some other brand names like Maven and Maven Blossom that are uh, a little bit less expensive and also very popular. And then we also have a line that we manufacture of our scrubbies in Pennsylvania. So when someone comes in the door and they're looking at the, obviously you'll guide them through yes. because there's a lot here. Um, I mean, there is a huge selection. They'll find what they're looking for, won't they? Well, first time people, first time customers, I like to escort them around the store because they're, you can see it's overwhelming to someone that's not familiar or someone that's coming in for the first time. So I like to escort them around the store, give them a, a little bit of an idea about what we have and price ranges and sizes and so forth. That was my next question. Uh, how do the sizes run? How does that work? We have sizing from extra small all the way up to 5X. Um, most of our pants come in petite length, regular length, and tall length. So there is sizing for everyone. We also have a full men's line. Um, what, the different, is there, are there different types of clothing? There is different types of clothing. There's um, some higher end brands. There is the middle of the road pricing. And then we also have a clearance section. And we also always have an ongoing sale. Um, it may be printed scrub tops. It may be some branded items that are marked down from full price. Uh, to give our customers a break and just to do something different. We like to do sales and offer our customers uh, different values. We are also excited about our new chef line that we're getting in. Um, chef pants, chef jackets, aprons, caps. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of everything now and a whole section in the store to offer that line as well. And so what are your normal days that you're open or normal hours of operation? We're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 5. And, you know, I know people just need to come in to experience this, to see what's here. But in a final word, what do we want to leave people thinking about? When they're thinking about Scrubbies, it's easy to get to. Uh, what would you like to leave them thinking? Well, I'd like everyone to know that we do have something for everyone. We love seeing new faces come in the store. We love being customer service oriented and having new customers come in and say, so-and-so sent me, they love the service, they love the variety, they love the pricing, because all of our pricing is already discounted, so we do have that to offer as well. Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious, blowers are slow and inefficient, and moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way, the all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net, so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the Leaf Lugger. Don't wait. Get yours today at leaflugger.com. We are now joined by Scott Redfield from Yoke Fellow Prison Ministry. And, Scotty, thank you for taking a few minutes to be with us. Let's start out. Talk, tell us a bit about your faith and how it works in your life. Sure. Uh, I gave my heart to the Lord uh, when I was 14 years old uh, at Pinewood Church Camp up in uh, Route 191 in the Poconos. And... Uh, it's, my life has never been the same since. I remember giving my heart to the Lord and things just changed radically for me. But as I went into the service, uh, I kind of drew away from the Lord a little bit. And uh, it's funny, once I came back and I started going to church again and everything fell back into place. But I love giving my heart to the Lord and uh, serving Him. Well, I know you have a real giving attitude. You love to help people. 
and tell us a bit about the ministry you're involved in and how it plays out in everyday life. Sure. Um, going into Yoke Fellow Prison Ministry, uh, it's an awesome opportunity to witness to uh, guys that are kind of have nowhere else to go right now. So it's kind of like a captured uh, audience. But uh, once you go in faithfully to uh, talk to them, uh, they open up to you. Once they know they can trust you, they open their hearts to you and they tell you things about themselves and uh, how they're struggling and you pray with them. And it's just an awesome experience. And I think the, the biggest challenge you have is to be a good listener when you go into prison. That's the most important thing is to listen to them and see what they have to say. Well, you know, now when you talk about going into prison, I mean, obviously you run into all types of people there, people that have had problems uh, in many different ways. You never know what you're going to run into, do you? And people are hurting, aren't they? They truly are. And, uh, you know, when I go into prison, I tell the guys, you know, we're all sinners and we're only saved by grace. We all fall short of the glory of God. And uh, that's the biggest message that they need to learn is that I'm no better than they are. And no one else outside of prison is either. And once they hear that message, they feel a little better about themselves. And then they're ready to accept Jesus into their hearts. Now, when you, in your everyday life, you know, I know you, you participate at church, you sing, you do different things. How can people, when people talk about separating their faith from different parts of their life, how can you separate your faith? You, I mean, it's pretty hard to do, isn't it? Yeah, I don't separate my faith. It's in every part of my life now. And uh, I'm going through some physical struggles. And I think that the things I used to worry about before, I don't worry about anymore. That through my faith, uh, it's given me strength in ways I've never imagined before. It's an awesome experience. When somebody says to you, uh, God's Word, what, what does that mean to you? I mean, uh, you know, the Word of God, the Bible. Uh, some people mock it. Some people laugh at it. Some people say that... You know, even uh, how could that be real? Men wrote it down. What do you, how do you answer a question like that? Well, that's, that's crazy talk in, in my estimation, but everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, every time I go into the Word of God, it, I see something different. It's a living, breathing document. And every time I read something, it changes. And it always seems to be suited for the, uh, the struggle or whatever I'm going through at that time. It just relates to whatever I'm reading in the Bible. And it's funny how sometimes it repeats for that whole week. I'll see the same thing coming up day after day. And it's like God is trying to get that message to me. And his Holy Spirit's job is to get that message to you. you know. And, and when it comes to you praying for other people, uh, I know that's serious business, praying for people. When you go into the prisons, I mean, you take people with you. Do you have to train them on how to talk to people, pray with people? Well, I, th I think if you're... Uh, a godly person or you're trying to be, I think the Holy Spirit leads and guides you. I know I was concerned about being snowed by some of the guys, uh, being maybe lied to or whatever, and uh, the man that started the Yofolo Prison Ministry in Lehigh County told me, his name was Wayne Benjamin, he said, Scott, you just put yourself in the environment and the Holy Spirit will take care of the rest. He'll bring out the truth in the guys, and it's worked. Well, so if someone's watching this and they may be saying, geez, I'd like to do that. I'd like to get involved and maybe go into the prisons and help and pray for people. Do you, can you take some people or do you have a, a plan for that? Sure. We have about 35 active volunteers. There's more on the list, but the active people that go in is about 35. And uh, if you want to find out more about uh, going into uh, the prison ministry or getting involved with it, whether it's letter writing or whatever, you just go to the website, Yokefellow, P.A., Dot org, and that'll take you right to our website, and you can find out what the website's about, what Yokefellow Prison Ministry is about, and uh, also our schedule for upcoming events. Uh, and, and, and we'll go over that just as we wrap this up, but in, in, in a final word about faith, before I let you go here, you know, what would you say to people about faith in the sense that faith plays an important role uh, People will come to crossroads in their lives every day, and they say, should I believe or shouldn't I believe? Should I listen to the Lord? Shouldn't I listen to the Lord? I mean, do you have any input on that? I mean, what would you suggest to people? Well, it's my favorite scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. From Proverbs.
Pretty powerful stuff. Now, in wrapping up our segment, what do you want to leave people uh, thinking about? I mean, uh, is there anything you wanted to announce here or about your upcoming events, or, uh, or what should we leave people thinking about? Sure. Uh, we have uh, a, uh, a night of uh, information at the uh, Faith Church on Hamilton Boulevard in Trexler Town on April 8th at 7 p.m. And uh, also, we have a, a training session on April 20th, and that's at the Trinity Baptist Church at 689 South Hillview Road in Allentown, across from Dorney Park. And that starts at 9 o'clock and goes till 3. And you need to let them know by April 10th uh, whether you're interested in coming to that training session. It's only a one-day training session, and uh, once you go through that, you're, uh, you have to go through a, uh, a security check, and once you're approved, you can go into prison and worship with the guys. Uh, that number is 610-820-8469. And that's also on the website. Now, is there a certain area that you go into prisons? Yes, uh, we go into uh, the third floor, 3B, on Friday nights. I go in with Lisa Perry. Uh, there's also people that go into 3A and 3C. I'm not sure what that means. Are you talking about, you're talking about counties or... No, it's different pods in prison. Pods, okay. Yeah, it's all Lehigh County prison. That's what, that's what we serve. Okay. Um, but uh, there's Yoke Fellow Prison Ministry all across the United States. This isn't just a Pennsylvania thing. So it, it's awesome what's happening. And uh, people are really stepping up and serving. I know it's a scary thing to go into prison. But once you do it and put yourself out there, all kinds of wonderful things can happen in the name of Jesus Christ. cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious, blowers are slow and inefficient, and moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way, the all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the leaf lugger. Don't wait, get yours today at leaflugger.com. Well, Harry and I have been married for 59 years. Well, we decided on the 24-hour MVP because Harry is a heart patient. And I just feel better if he's out of the house on the mower, which he is a lot, if he has something that he can push in the event he needs it. MVP is valuable to me while, while I am out cutting grass. Should I have an accident, this baby will save my life. What I like about the pendant is that this has a nice, large, different colored uh, button. And the, the microphone for, for the people to call me back is right underneath it. And it's very clear and easy to use. The MVP has a clip that could go right on your belt. It's very simple and comes out very easily and easy to change batteries and replace a new one and put the top back on one slight twist and there it is on sunday when i go to church i clip it right on my belt uh, i prefer wearing mine around my neck on the lanyard because it gives, keeps my hands free i don't have to fumble in a pocket for my phone i can clean i can shower um, I can go downstairs to do my laundry. I have two flights of steps to go down, and this way my hands are free in case I need to push the button. Oh, one of the things I really like about this unit is no matter where we go, if we're traveling to Hawaii, or babysitting, house sitting for our children, this goes with us. MVP is wherever we are because we know we're protected. He is my MVP. And she is my MVP. And we recommend this MVP for everyone. For more information on how you can protect your most valuable person, call Altronic Security today. Yes, dear. Yeah, I can check that for you. Just hold on a second. I got my notepad right here in front of me. Yes, he's not in the cage. He's out running around, but the alarm system is set to stay. Let the Home Connect team from Altronic Security put the power of affordable home control in your hand. With our new app for smartphones and tablets, you're in total control of monitoring your home, dimming your lights, adjusting your thermostat, 
even locking or unlocking your doors, all from wherever you are. Let Altronic Security take care of your home so you can take care of what matters the most. On this segment, we're here with Tom Brownback of Brownback Mason & Associates, which is a group psychological practice and neurofeedback center. But this is the faith portion of the program. We're, we're talking about faith, Tom, and how faith in God and faith in life uh, helps you perhaps in everyday life. Maybe you can talk about that a little bit and how it works for you in your practice and everything that you do. Well, that is the center of my life. Um, that I want to serve the Lord, and um, I have prayed for uh, most of my lifetime that uh, God would direct me and uh, how I spend my time. And um, I also have, uh, once I finished my graduate work in psychology, I went to seminary for the purpose of integrating both the psychology and theology. And then I felt him lead me to get into neurology uh, after that. So those are, are three major areas that I feel that God has called me to and uh, being able to help the people who come to me. Now, you know, when people come to you, I mean, we're talking about the faith part of your life, but you do help people through tr some traditional means, but uh, you integrate faith into it. And from your perspective, uh, how does a person uh, who needs help really get the change they need uh, and, and do you end up having to like privately pray for them or, or think about them and lift them up in prayer perhaps even when they're not around? I make it a rule of my life that uh, when I go to bed at night that I pray for virtually every client and I want the Holy Spirit to work in their lives and encourage them and motivate them and uh, so that is certainly one way I do it. Um, about two-thirds of the people who come to see me are uh, born-again believers. Now, that's why they come, because they know that that's my background. And for them, um, I will ask, would you like me to pray with you? And I will often do that at the end of a session. Um, we have worked with a number of multiple personality disorder clients through the years. Uh, and I have either worked with or directly supervised the work with over a hundred cases at this point in time. And about 40% of the, the, the term is officially now dissociative identity disorder or DID, but I still like the MPD title. And uh, about 40% of the multiples that we've seen are also satanic and ritualistic abuse survivors. And with them, not only do I do psychotherapy and neurotherapy and other types of therapy, but we have also done a number of deliverances where people have come who are demonized is the, the proper Greek word, and they um, feel that sense of uh, the, the demon or demons having a great overriding control in their life. and so. Uh, I have prayed for them to do deliverances, and uh, that has been a very uh, powerful piece of what we do in their lives and in their therapy. And that gets to the root of some of those serious problems. You know, what do you say, Tom? You, you, you deal with a lot of people, you've talked to a lot of people, you've helped a lot of people. What do you say to the person that says, there is no God, there is no uh, divine creator, uh, organized uh, development of the body. When you think about the brain, and, and that is your background and your field, I, I, uh, for myself, I can't imagine anyone saying it just evolved out of nothing. And the brain is so complex, isn't it? I mean, just give us a little input on that. Uh, well, you just asked me three different things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, the uh, brain, we have 100 billion neurons. And from six months after conception until the day you die, those neurons turn on and off, on and off, on and off. And when they do, they put out an electrical discharge. And we can measure that with an EEG machine. Now, out of that 100 billion neurons, they talk to each other, and there are 100 trillion connections uh, between them all. So the complexity that you just alluded to is certainly uh, vast, and, and I'm just giving a, a little piece of it by giving a few numbers. Um, and to come back, though, to the idea of uh, this issue of evolution um, versus creationism, creationism meaning that, that God made it, um, and 
where I go when I think about that, and, and this is really more of a philosophical discussion I would have with people, not always in a session, and I say to them or I ask of them, if you saw an arrowhead or you saw a nickel, would there be any question in your mind that either of those had a creator? And people will typically say, well, no, that would be obvious. And so I say, well, then what about if we take a car or an airplane? Is there really any question that they would have a creator? And now people will often get maybe a little annoyed that I'm asking such an obvious question. So then I go from there to, so if you know for sure that a simple thing like a nickel has a creator and a much more complex thing like an airplane has a creator, how do you make the leap to this whole world? It just happened by chance. Or the person, which is God's highest creation, just happened by chance. Um, I don't know how you put that together. And, and just a simple thing like hearing someone responding and being able to think, uh, to me, is a miracle. I mean, every day. And you don't realize that when someone loses the yes. ability to use some of those senses and how you have to work to get them back. Yes, yes. Because they have to work very hard. And mm -hmm. That's called therapy. That's right. And for us, therapy uh, is made up of the four pieces that I spoke about, the biological, the psychological, the social, and the spiritual. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I want to help the person in as full a way as possible, in as complete a way as possible. And so we use what we call a biopsychosocio-theological cognitive behavioral framework, or for short, the basics. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and there, there's no rocket science here. Uh, under the biological, I want them to rate how they do uh, on nutrition, exercise, sleep, and relaxation techniques under the spiritual, corporate worship, Bible time, prayer time, Christian music. And there, are, there is research at this time for 13 of these 16 healthy behaviors that we use, and it shows that it changes brain chemistry. So when I work with someone and they start to live in those healthier ways, I see that change across the board in their lives. And you're able to measure that change, aren't you, through the uh, technical advancements? Well, we can measure it, first of all, very simply. I just say to them, are you eating enough fruits? And they put on their sheet every day how many servings of fruit they have. They bring that in, and within a, a couple sessions, once they have this whole process down, we start every session with them just giving me numbers. Uh, 3.4 servings of fruit and so forth and I have a 23 page scoring system in my head that I then take that number turn it into a score and then I can look and see how they're doing this week as opposed to all the other weeks that they've seen me. In addition to that what you just alluded to has to do with the neurofeedback and yes I as they live healthier uh, and as they do the neurofeedback training or other types of biofeedback training, um, I can watch and, and I can see their brain heal. And you can imagine if the Lord in the early days would try to explain this to everyone, it would be a little hard for them to remember. So there's other ways through the Holy Spirit and scriptures. And in wrapping this up in this faith portion of the program, what do you want to leave people thinking about when it comes to faith in God? and in their own lives, just uh, getting their lives right. Obviously, in the business side of things, if they need help, they can call you. But beyond that, uh, give them a final thought when it comes to faith. You can't really separate your faith, can you, from every other part of your life? Um, I recall a, a woman who came to see me from upstate, a medical doctor, and it was clear she didn't want people to know she was coming for therapy. And she sat in our waiting room where we have books on many subjects, one of them being spiritual. And she came into my office the first time I met her and she said, if you ever talk to me about anything that has to do with God, I will leave immediately. And I said, that's fine. You certainly have every right. I'm a licensed psychologist. So I'm not here to push what I believe on anybody. Um, however, if you continue to hold on to that position of all that anger towards God, 
until you deal with it, you're never going to be done with therapy. So with that statement, um, you know, I won't ever bring the topic up again. So it's, uh, it, it is central to all of us in whatever way it works, whether we have had very painful past experiences about God, uh, about at least what people taught us about God is the way I should say that. And that pain uh, is going to have a, a great effect on our life or the positive. If we were blessed enough to grow up with loving, caring parents who showed us, took us to God's house every week and showed us God's love, that's going to have a tremendous impact. So yes, it, it, there is no way to separate how we feel about God and his world from the rest of our lives. On this segment, we're going to learn all about Oriental Rugs, and we're here at Ward's Oriental Rugs. And, um, you know, could you start out, I'm here with Gary and, um, and Kevin, and could you guys start out, just tell us where you're located. Because when I walked in here, it's a fascinating place, and I, I'll bet there's people who drive by and sometimes miss it, but you have a great location. So tell us about what you do and where you're located. Yeah, thanks, Art. The name of our company is Ward's Oriental Rug Service and Gallery. And we're basically nestled on the banks of the Jordan River here in downtown Allentown. The address is 333 West Union Street, uh, near the Parkettes Gymnastics Center, but pretty much center city Allentown. And uh, the main thrust of our business art is cleaning, repairs, restorations, and sales of Oriental carpets. Um, my son and I are both certified appraisers. Uh, again, we do cleaning of Oriental carpets. Um, we do uh, area carpets, and we have uh, close to a thousand pieces in our inventory for sale. We're looking forward to showing some of those. About how long have you guys been in business? Well, professionally, we have been in our location here operating for 10 years, although prior to myself coming into the picture, my father and my grandfather have been collectors and aficionados for almost 40 years. Yeah, you got quite a reputation going there because, and, and these rugs are really unique. I mean, what kind of rugs do you handle? What, what is it? Well, Art, what we have tried to do here at Ward's is handle mostly higher end hand knotted uh, specialty pieces. Uh, we don't want to have the same rugs that you would find in a department store. So we have mostly. Uh, like Persian pieces, we have pieces from the Caucasus, we have pieces from India, Pakistan, and China, but again, it's mostly gonna be hand knotted rather than machine-made carpets that you'd find in some other carpet stores in the valley. Well, you have a really large inventory, and I really encourage people to get out here, but how does someone actually select or find the, the piece they're looking for? Well, that's basically where I come in, Art. Uh, we work on a regular basis with design communities. So every day I'm hearing designers talking about what the hot new colors are, what size a rug should be for a specific room. So after many years of working with them, I've been able to develop a good eye. And we're also happy to go to customers' homes, measure out their spaces, look at the colors they have in their home, and then we can basically hold their hand and walk them through the purchasing process to find that perfect rug. That's pretty neat. And uh, like, where do you guys get all the rugs? I mean, when you walk through here, I bet every rug has a history. So how do you, how do you come across these wonderful rugs? Well, you know, it's funny, Art, that you say that because each of the pieces in our store is uh, really a one-off. So each one does have a history, each one does have a story, some of which go back well over 100 years since we specialize in antique carpets. Now with respect to where we get these pieces, boy, we get them wherever we can. Hand knotted carpets are getting harder and harder to come by these days. Obviously there's a lot of turmoil in the Middle East where most of these pieces come from. So the supply uh, is nowhere near what the demand is today particularly with Persian rugs. Uh, September of 2010, uh, there's an embargo uh, on Persian rugs right now. So the carpets that are in the U.S. right now, the Persian rugs, are the only ones allowed to come into the U.S. And that's not only the United States, that's the, uh, it's the EU, it's Canada, it's Mexico. So you cannot get any other, car any other Persian carpets into the U.S. than 
other than the ones that are currently here. We're fortunate to have hundreds and hundreds of beautiful Persian rugs here. Again, anything from a one-by-one one little square up to palace-sized carpets. So That's amazing. Now, you did mention service, and does that mean you repair and clean rugs as well? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we basically consider ourselves the Lehigh Valley's only full-service rug shop. And by full-service, we can repair your machine-made carpets, we can repair your hand-knotted carpets. We have two master weavers, uh, and myself, who is an apprenticing weaver, uh, we can basically do anything you can imagine to an oriental carpet, from cleaning them, to taking them apart, to putting them back together again. Oh, that's amazing. Um, you know, if someone has a rug that they're maybe looking to, they don't need it anymore, uh, can you help them with that? Uh, yeah, actually we do buy uh, some carpets from people if we think it's a saleable piece and it's a piece that actually fits in with the character of our store. And if it doesn't, uh, or if there are some other ways uh, to liquidate carpets that we're always glad to assist people with doing. So, and that could include um, auctions, it could include Craigslist, but what we do is, again, assist people with uh, sizing the carpet up, telling them exactly what they have, and then suggesting a price that they could put on, for example, if you do a Craigslist. And um, can you resize a carpet if somebody has one and they have a new size room now, they moved or something like that? We absolutely can. Uh, again, it does not matter whether it's a handmade or a machine made. We can remove borders and make carpets smaller. We do it all the time when people are downsizing or just moving into a new home. They don't want to give up that beautiful rug that they've loved for so many years. So by taking a foot off of the ends or a foot off of the sides, we can make it a very usable rug for them. Oh, we're running out of time, but what's your hours of operation? Uh, when can people find you here? Well, actually, our, our hours of operation are almost 7 by 24 because I'm available anytime anybody calls. But uh, our gallery and our cleaning uh, facility is open six days a week, Monday through Friday. We're open from 8.30 to 5, and then on Saturdays we're here from 10 to 4. But again, if anybody calls after those hours, we always answer our phone, and we're available basically 7 by 24 for our customers. So in a final word, what do we leave people thinking about when they're thinking about Ward's Oriental Rugs? Well, we would like everyone to leave with the thought that our business was built on the same morals that you build a family on, because small family business, we're owner-operator, we live rugs every day. Uh, we're just immersed in the culture, and we're here to help customers in whatever rug needs they have. On this segment, we're here at Altronic Security System. Uh, our business has been around for a long time, protecting a lot of people. We're here with Mr. Bob Heimbecker, and Bob, I know you have a lot of exciting technology breakthroughs. A lot of things are happening here in the community, and Altronics, as always, is at the forefront. Tell us a little about this MVP. It's really an amazing product. Well, as I explained to you earlier, Art, the personal emergency response systems have been around for years. We've just never been enthralled with the way they go up on the wall and the inability of people to communicate effectively with them, as well as the new technology, which is much easier for the patient or the person to communicate with. Well, let's talk about how this works, because what this does, it really uh, comes to the rescue of some people that really need it, and all of us need it at some point in our lives, but this is a, a way of doing it. Well first of all the product is called the Altronics MVP so that's for your most valuable person, your most valuable patient, whatever you want to call it but we know it to be a medical voice pendant. The medical voice pendant actually allows the person to have an, an extension to their present telephone system. Uh, this unit has a base that plugs into the phone system and the actual communications between my central station emergency operators and the person or patient is through this unit that actually travels with the patient or the person. So they could either wear it around their neck, carry it with them, but if they push that button, what happens? Well, the nice part about pushing the button is 
this unit contacts the central station and my central station emergency operators will get online and actually communicate with you. Let's say you had fallen on your way from the front door to your car, which a lot of people do that, try and get back and forth to the doctors. They fall on the way to the car. You're laying there on the ground underneath your car door. You press this button and it communicates to my central station and a live operator comes on this little speaker here and you can tell them, I've fallen, please call Art, my son, please call my doctor, please get me an ambulance. So what this does is allows people a lot of freedom to stay at their home, stay in a home. Like people don't always want to go into nursing homes, they like to stay at their own home. This gives them more freedom and protection if they could be working on the flowers, out in the garden and something happens, they can just push that button. Oh yeah, it's a real liberator. We should have called it the Altronics Liberator because when you, if you're one of those persons that likes to tinker in the garden, you can be out in the garden, you can cut your own grass and if you're feeling a little weak or faint or you get that pain in the left arm, get under a tree, press this button and my operator is going to be talking with you. And I know it's an extremely affordable item. There's no reason anyone can't have one. Right, we have it on special right now. $99 gets you the unit and a low $35 per month and there's no long-term contracts. We bill you quarterly for this. That's a tremendous product. I don't know why uh, everyone doesn't consider something exactly like that. So we want to make sure the people know it's available. How can they find it? They just call Altronics or they? Right. They can go online at www.altronics.com or for you techies, altronics.com or 868-8000 is our telephone number, 610-868-8000. And I want to clarify one, clarify one thing for you, Art. This is not just for senior citizens. Anyone who lives alone, you're a single mom, you need this. You're a single dad, you need this. You fall down the steps at home, Fido, kitty cat, cannot pick up the phone and dial 911. Here you talk to my live operators. What a great product. Now let's talk about something else because technology is moving right along. And I know that this product here uh, is a great product, but so is some of the uh, other things that Electronics has to watch over your home from an app on your phone. Correct. Uh, the, the dawn of the technology age of cell phones. Now we've gone into application-based cell phones like the Apple iPhone, like the Droids and the new Microsoft uh, Google platforms. We can now control the temperature in your house, the shades at your windows, the physical lock on the door, lock and unlock your security system door from your iPhone. I can even give you a camera that allows you to view your house, up to four cameras around your house that you can do for a low monthly fee on your cell phone. So the neat part about that is you could be on vacation in Florida and uh, somebody needs to either get into the house or anything, you can actually control it. Instead of handing out keys, you can actually open it from your vacation spot. Sure, the snowbird gets a notification from the central station that uh, they have a freeze condition in their house. They could call up their a heating air conditioning company, the guy gets there, he calls them, they unlock the door, turn the security system off, and they can watch the repairman in their home while he's effecting the repair and then lock the place up, turn the security system on, all from the cabana. Cabana, yeah, why leave all that luxury? Well, I'll tell you, uh, it, it, you can control heating, you can control air conditioning, you can control everything, right? Right, and it's security, and it's a security system. Yeah. Well, we know Altronics has the name in this area for security. It's been around a while. People are very familiar with it. You know, we're out of time, but in wrapping it up, what have we left out? What is it we want to leave people thinking about when it comes to Altronics security, but also the new technology, the apps, and, of course, the other items? We simply offer more. Whatever you've seen on television, we offer more because we're not bound by the big box store's limitation as to what products they can use. We can source all types of security applications, security products, and make them all work through your application on your smartphone. Yes, dear, you know, I can check that for you. Just hold on a second, I got my notepad right here in front of me. Yes, he's not in the cage, he's out running around, but the alarm system is set to stay. Let the Home Connect team from Altronic Security put the power of affordable home control in your hand. With our new app for smartphones and tablets, you're in total control of monitoring your home, dimming your lights, adjusting your thermostat, even locking or unlocking your doors, all from wherever you are. Let Altronic Security take care of your home so you can take care of what matters the most. 
Leaf cleanup. Nobody likes it because there's no good way to do it. Tarps are awkward and tedious, blowers are slow and inefficient, and moving leaves long distance with a rake can be an endless backbreaker. Finally, there's a better way, the all-new leaf lugger. Unlike tarps, the leaf lugger lies and stays flat. Rigid poles are embedded in each edge of the net, so you can rake and load leaves from all sides. Finally, leaf cleanup that's fast and easy, only with the Leaf Lugger. Don't wait. Get yours today at leaflugger.com. On this segment, we talk about faith, and we talk about how God's Word works. Today, we're faced with many challenges, pressures, and things from every side. Some people are facing big health issues. Some people are facing, facing just financial issues, or maybe even family quarreling issues, whatever. We all have issues and problems. Faith plays a huge role in that. God's Word plays a huge role. When you take a step back and you look at your life, you realize that most of the choices you make don't always seem like they were the right ones. They seem like maybe you went down a road you wished you hadn't gone down. Well, the good news is that when you identify something that's wrong, in God's, according to God's Word, we can repent of it we can be forgiven for it, and we can turn away from it. So on this segment, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about identifying the fact that maybe we've been on a wrong road. Maybe we're not able to make all the right choices ourselves, and maybe that's why we need the Holy Spirit to help us when we make our choices. The Holy Spirit's job is to help us identify how God's Word works every day in our lives. And the way we accomplish that is by praying and then acknowledging we're not sure what to do, Lord. Please help us. Please show us. Please open our eyes to see clearly the road that's before us. Now, we live in interesting times. We live in a time that I believe is right before the big end time bash. We have time yet to seek the Lord and exercise our faith every day and get it in good shape before the times really get to the point you need faith just to exist in life. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't opened your Bible lately, if you haven't read the Word of God lately, it doesn't matter what faith you are right now, read the Holy Bible. Pick it up, open it, read it. Ask God Almighty to send His Holy Spirit to identify what you're reading and show you and give you an opportunity to understand what you're reading. You'd be shocked at what happens after you pray that prayer. So Heavenly Father, we ask you, give us the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the understanding we need to comprehend the parts of your word that go to work for us. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. Now, I just want to remind everyone watching this program, if you know anyone of faith that's using their faith on a daily walk and would like to be featured on this show, have them contact us. If you know people who would like to become sponsors of this program, we need sponsors to offset the cost and keep us keeping this type of programming on the air keeping faith alive, showing people that there are hundreds and hundreds of people locally that are using faith to live their daily lives. So you can be a supporter. There's a website. You can go to whyfaith.us. That's a letter Y, faith.us. And you can help support this kind of programming. We need your support, but at the same time, we need each other. We need the Word of God alive being spread on every medium and whether it's television, the internet, or websites, wherever we are today, we want God's Word being taught, and we want many, many people demonstrating how it works for them. So we want to thank you for being a part of this program, encourage you to become a partner with us, and stay with us as we develop more and more programming right here in the Lehigh Valley area. Help support the Messick family. Come to the Benefit and Buffet Sunday, November the 3rd. An afternoon of missions and music is being held at the Southmore Golf Course from 3 to 7 at Gatano's Restaurant and a special guest appearance by guitarist George Orlando. For more information, call 719-221-5870. Please come and help support the Messick family as they take off for their trip for the Southern Andes Mountains of Ecuador.